once you have a clear vision of what success looks like for you it's time to take action start working towards your goals and make them a reality don't let doubt or fear hold you back Welcome to the House of Entrepreneurs, where we help others pursue entrepreneurship. Now, you already know what to do. Please go ahead, like and share and subscribe to this uh, channel. Thank you so much. Now, I have read so, so many books. In fact, if you wanted to give me a, a gift, you'd, the, the easiest gift to give me for, uh, is a book. I love reading. Um, in fact, last year there was, there was a time I was reading uh, two books a week, you know, and these were not small books. These were like books that were like 150 pages, you know, each. And, and I mean, I love reading. I love reading a good book. Now, of course, I would say that even though I love reading, the Bible is in its own category. The Bible, there's no way I can compare the Bible to any other book. It's the best book that has ever been written. And in fact, all books have been derived from the Bible. I mean, the Bible has literally transformed my life. It has changed my life. I love reading the Bible. And I read it at least four times a week, if I, if I, can, if I can like be honest. You know, not every day, but at least four times. However, a few years ago, I... I, I read a, a book that I was like, whoa, it's a small book for me, even though I've read so, so many books. I have a, a library down here. I have a library up. This for me is the best book that so far I have, I have read. Uh, this book, uh, it's a friend of mine who, who gave it to me. He's called Elwin. He gave it to me as a gift. And when I read it, I was like, whoa, it, the book is called Who Moved My Cheese? It's, it's by Spencer Johnson. And it uses a simple uh, parable to illustrate the importance of adapting to change. The story is set in a maze where uh, there are four characters. There are two mice and two little people. And they are in search for cheese to sustain them. Now, when this cheese in their usual spot disappears, each character uh, responds differently to the change. You know, some some characters in the book go through all i mean yeah they go through all kinds of emotions some of them go through fear anger and confusion it shows how us people uh, when we go through change some are quick to adapt while others struggle you know to let go of the past through this story the author encourages readers to embrace change overcome fear and resistance and, and uh, learn to thrive in a constantly evolving world. The book's message is relevant to people of all ages and walks of life, as change is an inevitable part of life and adapting to it is crucial for personal and professional growth. Now, the cheese in, in the story, in this story of the book, represents the things that people desire in their lives. Uh, such as a fulfilling uh, career, a loving relationship, financial stability, health, and inner peace, you know. The maze in the story, of, you know, in this book, symbolizes uh, the various aspects of our, of our lives, such as workplace, family, and community. Change is inevitable, and the cheese we desire may not always be available. Which is why we, we, we must learn to adapt and overcome uh, the fear. The characters in, in the story demonstrate the different approaches to change. For example, Sniff and Scary are quick to adapt. So, so there are four, there are four characters in, in, in the story. One of them, no, so there's Sniff, there's Scary, there's Hem, and there's Ho. Now, Sniff and Scary are quick to adapt to change and they start looking for new cheese as soon as they notice that the old supply is dwindling. In contrast, Ham and Ho 
uh, they struggle with change and resist letting go of their old ways, ultimately delaying their progress towards finding new cheese. It's a book that teaches us something. Uh, uh, it, it, it's a book that teaches us that some things are not meant to stay forever. That cheese is not forever, and every now and then we often, you know, we will often find ourselves either when the cheese is less or it's no more. And these four characters teach us that the faster you let go of the old cheese, the better. That sometimes you don't even need to wait for, for, uh, for the cheese to run out. Sometimes you need to smell the cheese and know when it's getting old and move on. The book highlights important lessons for businesses to succeed in a constantly changing market. It emphasizes the need for businesses to adapt and make necessary changes and maintain uh, their competitive advantage. Many industries, including, you know, I don't know if you remember, the movie industry was disrupted by Netflix or, you know, how the usage of personal cameras like Kodak was uh, disrupted by the use of, of, of phone cameras, you know, all these industries were disrupted and the businesses that have learned to manage change are the ones that will continue to be successful in the long run. So here are five lessons or, and maybe a plus, you know, another bonus lesson that, that I, I, I got from uh, this book when I was reading it. Lesson number one, smell the cheese often to know when it's getting old or be prepared for change we need to monitor change we often get comfortable in situations and tend to avoid the new ones due to uh, fear of the unknown oh yeah unaware to the small changes that are being made because uh we are so caught up in our comfort zone now Speaking of comfort zone, uh, we, we, we stay in a nice place, you know, it's a nice, it's a desirable place and, uh, you know, it's at, right at the beach, you know, it's a, you know, prime location and we, we love our place. We've been so comfortable. We love our place, you know, and at the recording of this episode, uh, our landlord came and said, hey, I'm, I'm increasing your rent, you know, by seven hundred dollars and we're like whoa it looks like the cheese is dwindling but anyway and the world is constantly changing and it's important to be prepared for whatever comes your way as a millennial i have already experienced significant changes in my lifetime such as the great Re the great recession you know uh you know social media and 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 you know this all oh, oh, covid and you know, these changes have taught me that anything can happen at any time and it's important to be ready. Whether it's a shift in your professional or personal uh, life, you know, we need to pay attention to these signs of changes around, around us, you know. And so we need to develop a plan to adopt by learning new skills, you know, and, and staying up to date with the latest trends. In the book, Who Moved My Cheese?, Sniff and scurry, uh, prepared for change by noticing that the cheese, uh, the cheese supply was dwindling and it was getting old, and they took action by stocking up on, on running shoes and and preparing to search for a new supply of cheese. Remember, change can be uncomfortable and unpredictable, but if you are prepared to embrace it, you can overcome any challenge and thrive in new situations. Hey guys, I just wanted to come in here and encourage you to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on any of our content. Thank you so much. Lesson two, let go of the past. Adapt to change quickly. Despite your fears and anxieties, it's important to embrace change and acknowledge it as an opportunity for growth and development. Dwelling in the past will only lead you to misery and uh, frustration. Instead, focus your energy on adjusting your lifestyle and mindset to the new 
order of things. The characters Hem and Ho in the story struggle to let go of their old habits and beliefs. The book teaches us that holding on to the past can hold us back from achieving our goals and we need to be willing to let go of old ways of thinking in order to move forward. When something changes in your life, like losing your job or moving away from, you know, uh, moving away from friends, you have two choices. Stay stuck in your old ways or adopt the new situation. If you choose the latter, you know, then it will be easy, easier for you uh, to adjust. Lesson three. Be flexible and adaptable. Adapting to change also means embracing new perspectives and ideas. Being open-minded allows you to learn and grow from new experiences and viewpoints. In the workplace, it's important to consider different approaches uh, to problem solving, you know, or decision making. Embracing diverse uh, perspectives can lead to more innovative solutions and um, better teamwork. In your personal life, being open-minded can help you build stronger relationships with, other, with others and broaden your horizon, you know. And trying new things and exploring new interests can also uh, bring a sense of excitement and, and fulfillment. Like, you know, like, like trying new food in a new city. Being open-minded means being willing to step out of your comfort zone and trying something different. It may not always be, be easy, but it can let, you know, it can lead you uh, to, gr to growth and new opportunities. The characters Sniff and Scary in the story, uh, in the story of this book are able to adapt quickly to the changes, to the changing circumstances, while Helm and Ho struggle to do so. The book teaches us that flexibility and adaptability are important qualities of success in life and that we should always be willing to adjust to the you know to our approaches when necessary lesson number 4 when you stop being afraid you feel good face your fears you know fear can have two effects on us it can either scare you away uh, from doing stuff or it can motivate you to act the latter can be beneficial as it can help you feel better about yourself and make you more productive. Fear comes in, in many forms, such as, you know, fear of failure, rejection, being alone, or even success. And, you know, I have an episode about this. If you, if you didn't watch it, I would encourage you to, you know, go watch uh, the, you know, the, the five types of fears. It's important to remember that fear is just a feeling, you know, and the best way to overcome fear is to face it head on. If you are afraid of failure, ask yourself, what would happen if I failed? Or if you, you know, you fear rejection, you need to ask yourself, what would happen if someone didn't like your work? You know, it's important uh, not to let your fear stop you from taking action. Remember, you are stronger than your fears. So next, you know, next time something scares you, ask yourself, what would I do if I was not afraid? And then go do it. Lesson five, imagining yourself enjoying your new cheese will lead you to it. Look to the future. Sometimes we are so focused on what we are leaving behind and we don't realize that what we are looking for actually is just ahead of us. Let go of the past by setting goals and imagine yourself achieving those goals. When you start envisioning yourself in a new positive situation and opening yourself to new ideas, only then will you start heading the right direction. Sometimes when facing challenges, we get caught up in negative thoughts and doubt. And instead of focusing on 
what could go wrong, imagine what success would look like for you. Visualize, visualizing success uh, can help you feel more confident and motivated to take action. It's not just wishful thinking. Research actually has shown that visualizing techniques, you know, can improve uh, performance in fields, in, in, in many fields, in, including sports. Once you have a clear vision of what success looks like for you, it's time to take action. Start working towards your goals and make them a reality. Don't let doubt or fear hold you back. Visualize your success and then take the necessary steps that are needed to make it happen. Life does not change and neither should you. You'll be surprised at how quickly things change. And when they do, you need to be ready to adapt and learn. If you don't, you know, then you'll miss out on opportunities. The world is changing faster than ever. In fact, the rate of change is so rapid that it's hard to keep, you know, to keep up. It's not just about technology, though that's certainly a big factor. It's also how people interact with each other and their environment. So if I had to summarize uh, the lessons that I, that I learned from this book is be prepared for continuous change by being flexible, open-minded and willing to try new things that may challenge uh, your ideas about the world around you. All right. Thank you so, so much for watching. There are so, so many lessons from this book and I want to leave uh, a link in the description below. Um, you know, I want to encourage you to, you know, to buy, to buy this, uh, this book and you will thank me later. You don't have to currently be, be going through, you know, a challenging time in your life, uh, you know, to benefit from this book. No matter what you do, what you're going through, Who Moved My Cheese can teach you uh, how to approach uh, things, you know, which will ultimately help you uh, be, a mo be more successful in, in, in whatever it is that, that you do. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next show. Thank you so much.